What's it used for? Why, to find my way around my subaquatic roller skates. All I need to do now is adjust the display. Ryan! Oh! Sorry. I think you'll have to take a break from your adjustments for a while. If I have to stop every time I make some noise, I'll never be ready for the invention of the future contest. Yeah, I know. Why don't you help me pour the vinegar while I beat the egg whites? Ryan! Oh! Okay, I guess all you can do now is help me mount my new ball bearings on my board. Quiet! Huh? Um. Quiet! Look what I found! A book about... Huh? Aren't you supposed to be working Quiet! on... Ever since this morning, Mr. Groucho won't put up with the slightest little noise. Da, but he has always been like that. Yeah, but now it's even worse. I can't adjust my periscope without him getting all worked up. I guess this means we'll just have to find another workshop. But the invention of the future contest is tomorrow. I'll never be ready in time. Da, my poor crafty kids. Groucho has no sense of zen. Huh? Ah, of course. That's it. We need to sanitize Mr. Groucho. Lee May, how are you going to make an old grouch like that change his ways? They explain everything in here. All we have to do is feng shuiify the workshop. Ah, uh, OK. okay. We're, We're going to uh, feng shui a what? The art of feng shui is used to channel positive energy, or qi, and neutralize negative energy, or sha. It restores calm and harmony in any interior. But, uh, how does it work? It's easy. All we have to do is make one of these feng shui things and set it up in the workshop. And, uh, that'll calm Groucho down? Of course it will. It'll capture all the negative energy and channel it away. Chow hee! Crafts in action! And, uh, huh? where are we gonna make this thing? Remember, we can't use the workshop anymore. Crafty kids are always welcome. Even if I'm too old for that kind of thing myself. I knew I could mm -hmm. count on you. Thanks, uh -huh. Robinson. And you can use anything you want from my old shopping cart. Huh? Mm. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Wind chime is going to reharmonize the entire workshop, including Mr. Groucho. Shh. Ready? Mm -hmm. Are we good? All reharmonized? I think so. Better bring it again just to be on the safe side. Huh? huh? What in the world was that? Sounds like a piano. You think Groucho knows how to play? Of course. That proves he's got all his positive energy back. Now we'll be able to... Ugh. So much for harmony. I can't stand it. Instead of soothing him, the chimes made Groucho even madder. We can't reharmonize with all this noise. Uh, quiet! Uh, okay. Where were we? Quiet! I'm afraid this time we'll have to abandon the workshop for good. What? I can't hear a thing. Evacuate now. Uh-huh. Uh, wait. I had to say my project. Uh, Let it go. You'll make something else. No can do. I'll never have enough time before the invention. 
Invention of the Future contest tomorrow. Uh, I'm starting to wonder if this is such a bright idea. I'm really a skateboarding kind of guy. Matt, you can't keep living in the past. Skateboards are so 21st century. Uh, and what's the periscope for? I mean, I'm not underwater. You'll need it if you have to cross the river. Here we go. I guess the brakes need a little tweaking. You, you think? think? If we want to get our workshop back, maybe we should try making one of these silent objects. How about this one? This is just awful. Mm. Huh? Uh, uh, not so uh, fast. Uh, I think it's uh, a good idea. That's not what I mean. It's these wooden skates. Uh, uh. I can't get them off. Well, humidity can't make wood swell. You wouldn't have sweaty feet by any chance, huh? Oh, because all oh, this is my fault now. No fighting on huh? my line, boys. We're too crafty kids. <laughs> Nowhere. We just set up our workshop in the bus stop. What's wrong with your workshop? We can't work there anymore without Mr. Groucho getting on our chakras. Mr. Groucho? That's strange. He took my bus this morning to the annual dentist conference. He's supposed to be the keynote speaker. What? what? How? Yeah, he'll be gone all week. Oh, I'm gonna be late. Bye. Oh. That's why Groucho couldn't stand the slightest little noise. He was working on his speech. Yeah, but now that he's gone, who is playing the piano on the other side of the wall? Maybe it's a haunted piano. I saw that in a movie once. If you listen to it, you turn into a zombie. Or maybe it's the slugs from outer space. Since they don't have any hands, they're using the piano to send a coded message, announcing the end of the world! Oh, come on. Can't you see it's just the negative vibes in Groucho's house that refuse to reharmonize with the workshop? Uh, you know, we could just peek inside his place. But how? His windows are super high. We can use the periscope I made for the contest. Crafts in action! Just a few minor adjustments and we'll find out what's going on in there. You know, Benny, two mirrors would do the trick too. But it wouldn't be in 3D. Who wants to try? Me. I want to know who's messing with our karma. Here. Hmm. Huh. It looks like a bunch of boxes hopping on top of another bunch of boxes. But that's what we see, too. What are the glasses for, Benny? Uh, they just mm -hmm. make you look cool. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's Max, Mr. Groucho's cat. He's jumping on something really big. That really big thing is a piano. It looks like it's trying to get at that little red box over there. It's a goldfish. The cat is jumping on the piano and trying to catch a goldfish. That's what all the racket is about. Well, there you go. All we have to do is wait until Mr. Groucho comes back in a week. In, in a, a week? week? Uh, mm, We need to interest Max in something else. Something that will divert his attention away from the fish. We could make this feng shui wind wheel. Look, it moves with the slightest breeze and the feathers will attract the cat like a bird. If we put it in front of the window, it ought to get his attention. Crafts in action! I give you the Crafty Kid Wind Wheel. Now all we have to do is hang it in front of Groucho's window so Max can see it. Let's just hope it works. Uh. Uh. At last, I knew a little feng shui would bring peace and harmony back into the workshop. Peace and quiet.
quiet. Everything is like before. Except I still have my feet stuck in these stupid wooden skates. Oh, yeah. Well, I think it'll be cool if you return them before the contest tomorrow. Uh, now breathe through your navel, mat and relax your toes. Hmm. Uh? I feel like my feet uh? are starting to break free. Oh. oh. Phew, now the workshop has been completely reharmonized. Fantastic! I have just enough time to finish adjusting them before the contest. Quiet! Chow hee, crafty kids. Do you want to decorate your window, your bedroom door, or a tree in your backyard? No problem. The crafty kids are going to show you how to make a pretty wind wheel with some feathers. First you need... A cookie box made of thin cardboard. A piece of string. Some wooden skewers. Some paper mache balls. Feathers. A pine cone. Some scissors. And adhesive tape. Step one. Cut four rectangles about four by two inches in size out of the cookie box. Roll them up and use the adhesive tape to make little tubes. Step two. Take a long piece of string and make a knot in it. String the four tubes on it, one at a time, making a knot in the center of each tube. Make sure to leave enough space in between. Step three, attach the pine cone to the end of the string to weigh it down. Step four, now make the spokes of your wind wheel. Take a paper ball and glue four feathers crosswise to form the blades. Step five, Pass the skewers through the tubes and stick them into a wheel on each side. Do the same thing with the four other tubes. Now your wind wheel is ready. All you have to do is hang it up anywhere there's a little breeze to make the wheels turn. <laughs>